some time back I put a or I had me a what you call it, treadmill motor. And I got, I got the controller set up and everything. So now we got it back here on the back of the lathe where it did have this well this is a one horse motor here. Uh, AC. A good motor as far as that is, but I tried this other situation. And it's pitching that and be like a noise motorcycle. Anyway, this is a, it worked out pretty good. I had to modify some mounting brackets on here for that to work. But anyway, uh, let me see if it turns it on here. All right, now, uh, basically not too much to it. You know, you flip on your regular switch. You can see your uh, thing up there when you can change it. I'm sure that wouldn't have much power at that rate. I'm not going to turn it all the way up because it's going to mess up the lathe. But... So you know they're pretty noisy. Uh, anyway, now. Now, I don't know how much power it's going to have. That's the next thing. Uh, if it's not good enough, then I'll go ahead and put the other motor back on and do without the uh, uh, speed control because you know you can change some speeds in here we run this up to let's see put it over here the lower one and then the higher one that gives it a slower speed and more power should be and vice versa now i don't know let's see how that works okay this is not using any of the back gears or anything it runs directly from the uh, this just jacks back over to here. And if you want to change it in the back gears, then it's a different deal. I wish them give you slower, slower speed yet. Alrighty, well that's kind of the way it works out. And as other people have said, wherever you leave the speed control, if you shut it off and start back up again, it comes up. Well, I bet it did. Now what's going on here? There we go. Now it's come back up where it was. And uh, it's going to take a little bit for to settle down. Okay, now. It picks up, I don't know, you can't see that thing dancing around there, you can't tell anyway. See that there a little bit more. It takes a little while for it to register, but uh, when it's going to settle down, it'll be right close to it. Alright, that's good enough for this. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Shut it off. And then we'll leave it, leave it settle to nothing. I don't know why it takes so long to zero out. Come back up here. So, it starts back, it comes back up to where you had it. Alright, well, that's enough of this malarkey. I just want to show you that it does work for that, but I haven't got a round of punning out, but it's got enough power to actually cut metal or not. But, alright, well, that's it for this little project here.